process by which a postage stamp enters into circulation begins with the American public. What? Are you even listening? No. Do you want to do this or not? I don't. I did index cards. How many? 87. Reduce it to three. Philately's fun, Josh. I'm sorry, what's fun? Philately, stamp collecting. Okay, be careful how you say that word, because... Can we work? Tell me what you know. The process by which a stamp enters into circulation begins with the American public. Well, that's always our first mistake. About 50,000 proposals a year are submitted to the Citizen Stamp Advisory Committee, the acronym for which is... Dork Squad. CSAC. The committee then makes a recommendation to the Postmaster General, in this case, Marcus Aquino. He won the Silver Star for service in Korea. There are numerous instances listed here of life-saving valor and actions well above and beyond the call. As Puerto Rico's resident commissioner, he served Congress faithfully and well. Let's put him on a stamp. Let's put you on a stamp. Okay. Let's talk about the problem. It's a stamp. Yes, but we have to remain neutral. It's a stamp. I understand that it's a stamp, but I'm saying that when it comes to statehood for Puerto Rico, the United States has to remain neutral. Puerto Rico's in the United States. Once again, thank you for that review of fifth grade social studies, but I meant the federal government must remain neutral. Puerto Rico's in the federal government. No, it's not. They, they send a resident commissioner to Congress? Who can't vote, but that's beside the point. What is the point? Aquino was strongly in favor of statehood. To put his face on a stamp would be promoting his beliefs, which we can't do. Because we have to remain neutral. Yes. That's idiotic. Oh, like it's the first time. He voiced an opinion, so he can't be on a stamp. <sighs> Donna. Sides have been taken. The former presidents, the speaker, minority leader, they all we say have... that statehood is in the long-term interest of Puerto Rico and that as it stands now, 3.8 million American citizens have been relegated to second-class status. That's, that's more people than Mississippi. Mississippi's never minded being relegated to second-class status. Oh, you're going to make your little bigot of Mississippi jokes? Yes. Isn't anyone worried that if they, they're not given statehood, they're going to want independence? Exactly no one is worried about that. You know why? Because Puerto Rico is absolutely dependent on U.S. manufacturing, which contributes 40% to the GDP and accounts for 24% of their workforce. I don't care. People don't sit still for tyranny. How is it tyranny? Puerto Ricans have to register to be drafted into the armed forces, yet they're not allowed to vote for president. They're expected to die for a commander-in-chief. They had no voice in electing. Donna. We have colonized Puerto Rico, and they will rise up against us. I think we can take them. That's what we said about the British. We took the British. You know what I'm saying. Hardly ever. Josh, what's going on? Josh! Yeah? The stamp? You were supposed to do this, you know. I delegated. Yeah. I've got more index cards. Ah! Ha! What you got there? Precedent, baby! Precedent? Precedent, the mother's milk of, you know, making your point and being right. Okay. The Jewish war veterans lobby to get a stamp, even though the criteria prohibits people or groups whose principal undertakings are religious. Right, and what happened? The JWV argued that their principal achievements have been fighting wars for their country, just like Aquino. Right, and what happened? They were denied. Yes. Okay, that doesn't help me. No. Hang on. Look. The, the, the Luna Moth has its own stamp. What's a Luna Moth? It's a moth, and you don't see the National Organization of Entomologists freaking out. No, but I'd pay good money to see that. Hang on, hang Donna. on. Aha! <laughs> Here we go. The following groups have been issued stamps. Disabled Veterans of America, United Confederate Veterans, the American Legion, and the black soldiers who served as Buffalo Scouts in the West. Are you gonna get that? I, I, I meant in the 19th century, the black soldiers in the West. Yeah, I didn't think we still had Buffalo Scouts. Josh Lyman. I should be able to be on a stamp. Okay. What was that? The president's back. Okay, I, I was gonna say, I, I think we should put him on the stamp. Donna. I have the personnel file for the pilot. How did you know I was going to ask you for that? I'm tuned to you. Seriously? I anticipate your every need. Yeah, but to be walking by with a guy's personnel file? They called me 10 minutes ago, Josh. Don't be a yutz. Oh. On the yeah. other hand, you're a very handsome man. What do you need? You're a very powerful and a very handsome man. What do you need? You know how I never ask you for anything. What do you need? Yo-Yo Ma's playing at the Christmas party. Which one? Congressional. Fine. I can come? Give me the file. Can I come? To the congressional Christmas party? Yeah. You can take your Pablo Casals, you can keep your Rastafavich. I say yo yo my rules. Hmm. What? This guy, that pilot. What about him? He's got the same birthday as me. I'll be in here. Toby, if I could ask the SPR question. Would it be possible to hold the noise down out here? Do you need something? I need the CBO spec. It's on your desk. It's like a damn hockey game out here. I need information. I'm going to the blue room. Yo-Yo Ma rules. She wouldn't shut up about Yo-Yo Ma. 
You don't like the cello? I like the cello fine. You asked me what was going on that day, and one of the things that was going on was that Donna wouldn't shut up about Yayo Ma. Donna's gonna take you to the emergency room. She knows? She was the one who guessed. I don't need the emergency room. Come on, it could be infected. You could have a thing. What thing? How the hell do I know? Leo, let's go. See you later. Okay. Come on, listen, come to have him, say a joyful tone to every home. 